All right, everybody. Today we're going to take the queen out of the clip. We're going to release her in here. We're going to find out if they're building any comb. They should be because they were already chaining and festooning when I checked them later that same day. So today we're going to use this tool. I love these tools. This is the Italian J-hook. Uh, they sell them to be used in most different kinds of hives. It's not it's fallen out of popularity, but I really love these for top bar hives. These are just awesome. The only other better tool for a top bar hive is a big, long serrated bread knife. You got one of these and a serrated bread knife, you got it made for a top bar hive. Today we don't need the bread knife because we're not going to be cutting through any comb. There's hardly any drawn probably. So all we need is this. Uh, give it a little smoke. One of these days I'll show you how I do a smoker. Put a little smoke in the inside. Normally when I inspect a hive, I start from behind and work my way forward. That way we keep the brood covered as much as possible. But since I already know the queen's up here and they haven't laid any brood, I'm not going to be killing any brood. So we're going to start right at the front. Basically, usually in a top bar hive, they're pretty calm. But because the queen hasn't been laying eggs and helping them to be as calm as they could be, I'm going to give a little extra smoke here. Of course, dropping the top bar like that didn't help. Let that do its job there. Give it just, it doesn't take long. You don't have to let it sit a full minute or even a full 30 seconds, but long enough to let the smoke really get in there. Now that we've let it sit for a little bit, we can take the top bar. Raise it up. Nice and easy, and we can see they've already started drawing some comb. That's excellent. Okay, so we're going to go back here and release a couple of these bars just so we can make some room to set this comb down. Just like that. And you see they're drawing it along the comb guide. See that? Just like we planned. So that's a good thing right there. All right, let's see here. What do we got going on in this comb? This top bar, I should say. I can say, without a doubt, they're festooning, and yes, they've got more comb, and yes, it's being drawn straight along the, the top bar guide. So awesome, we got them drawing out good comb, nice clean white comb. Let's see, can we see in here? Yes, there is some more. I don't mind removing them from the back here because there's nothing back here that's going on. There's no action here. So while we work this hive, we can pick these up. Now they're festooning more. They're going to start building on that back one. Looks like they have already a bit, but again, holding comb along the guide. So there's three right there that they've started going pretty good. Now I can tell you for a fact, Queen, and I got the little cage down here. You can use that J-hook end. One quick sharp wrap, that's all it takes. Okay. Here, we'll smoke them off. We don't have, we could do a quick shake off, but hey, we got a smoker for a reason. Alrighty. We can do that quick shake. And you can see the queen in there. Okay. Bigger girl right back here. I don't know if you can see her. All we have to do is open the clip and shake her on out. And there she goes. If you look down there, you can see where she went. Now she went under a few couple others now. So, now we go in reverse order. combs back in the way they came out. In order to do that, we want to make sure we don't kill any 
bees unnecessarily. So we just kind of work it and wiggle it. Nice and easy movements. Nothing is ever, everything is a fluid movement when you're working with bees. This keeps the bees calm. And by keeping them calm, you keep them with less stress. And all it takes is just a little bit of, come on, get out of there. There we go. See, like that. Boom. Just like that, we've got bees being put where they belong. Here we're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. She wanted to get a piece of me there. That's all right too. Gotta clean. Now when we're doing these ends, you go always gotta double check because they like to play under here. Give them a little tap. Give them a second to clear out. There we go. Boom. Now that's in. Now they've got a nice tight rough over the brood section, or what will be the brood section. Now we can come back here to the empty area. Put these back in. We don't have to worry as much because, like I said, there's no activity back here. So we can just kind of, there's no bees really crawling on the same space. So we can just kind of toss them in here back the way they came. So yeah. Not ideal to be bouncing them around, but again we didn't crash directly or anything, so just like that. We we released the queen. We have our top hive assembled again. We'll come back in about a week or two, probably two weeks. They'll have more comb drawn and she'll have started laying eggs. Maybe about a week because the top bar, you got to check them a little bit quicker, a little bit more frequently. It doesn't do as much harm because we start then from the back, work toward the front, and we keep the heat and the environment scent preserved more so than by removing everything. So we'll take a look and see how it's going next time we come and check it. Later on, folks.